world's number one casual fan. Mad Dog Chris Russo did a top five NBA scores list. Let's see why I disagree with him. Crystal P was a dog. I can't cap. That nigga was a dog. Talking about pure scores, and we're talking about pure scores. Pure scores, I'll give you that. Crystal mm -hmm. P was a demon. He was cooking. Oh yeah, you would have been cooking. It's not even debatable. He's number five. All right, number four. This is easy enough for number four because the next four is Kobe. the gun. Kobe, eighty-one points, of course, against Toronto. This is an unbelievable assassin. That was a good shot against Chris Paul. Bums. Fucking bum, Latrell. Don't you ever in your weak ass life. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Hmm. Mm, that's good. Will Chamberlain. That's facts, though. That nigga was really unstoppable with that weak ass move. <laughs> <laughs> He's, bro, he, first of all, only one person, only one person on this list has played past 1996. I don't, I don't want to say Kareem retired early. Right. Um, I think it also is allegedly to have a thousand and two kids, but the nigga retired in 89. After they lost to the Pistons, Kareem played retired in 89. What's that other nigga? Will. His whole ass. When did he retire? 72. I forgot he used to play for the Lakers. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. When did, when did Kareem play for the Lakers? They just know they played the same. Let's see if he did again. Yeah, he was on the Bucks at that time. That's right. Because I think in one of these, the Sixers win. And they lose to the thing of a a couple times. Okay. Ferdinand Lewis Alcindor Jr. God damn, that's a name. Because Pistol Pete retired. And he retired hella early. He didn't even get a chance to get ranked because his team was fucking ass. Oh, he retired with the Celtics in 79. He played for the Jazz. Oh, no, he played for the Hawks. Does he not have a ring? There's no way Pistol Pete has a ring. What do you keep? What do you do with the tomato? Tomato. Okay, bye. Easy. This nigga didn't make an All Star game from '73. To... God, I mean, this nigga didn't make a fucking. God damn. I mean, he averaged damn. He averaged thirty in one game. Does he have a ring? He was a top three pick. I went to five different high schools. They go to LSU. Anyways.
the New Orleans Jazz. He played in New Orleans. Scoring champion, five time also person. Oh, he doesn't have a ring. I figured he didn't. I don't know why I convinced myself he did. Let me guess. Number one's Michael Jordan. Two, uh, and he was a great free throw shooter. Much better than people think. Remember those two free throws he made against Detroit, which won game seven in the NBA final, uh, the last championship he won. Oh, will you two. get to number one? Let me get to number one. <laughs> Yo, these two arguments. <laughs> listen, you don't understand. This is what I listen to at work because this shit is comedy. It's how I stay awake. These two niggas going back and forth, the funniest shit in the world. This is the greatest offensive machine in the that. history of the NBA. Score anytime you wanted to. 63 at the Boston Garden against Harris, McHale, Walton, Bird, DJ, and Ames. Now I should have put And they lost. <laughs> I had no place to put him. I considered that. Last all you want, I considered Bob Pettit. I can't put Bob Pettit on here. LeBron, we all know where LeBron is historically as an all-around player, and you can talk about Carl Malone until your cows come home. To be honest, LeBron could go on that list. I don't. LeBron could go on that list, in my opinion. Again, I'm just a casual. LeBron could go on that list because he, to be honest, LeBron could average about. You'll see what Giannis does. You think LeBron couldn't do that? Uh, I understand him not being on the list, but I can understand him being on the list. Pistol Pete was a dog. Pistol Pete was a dog. First of all, you started off, you started off your list horrible. <laughs> Pete Maravich the hell off of there, okay? You're not going to disrespect Pistol Pete. Nobody wants to hear what you have to say. It's good. Listen, listen. Here's, here's this will be a good dog. I have no problem with, well, of course I agree with Michael Jordan being number one. All right, Kareem and Wilt, you got to put him up there. Kareem's the all-time leading scorer. Wilt Chamberlain was unstoppable. So those three I'll give you. Kobe's actually debatable, but I'm not going to fight with him in the top five because I believe in the Black Mamba. I just want to say this to you, doggy. So, Steph Curry is the greatest shooter God mm. ever created. Facts, he's facts, facts. He's a 90% career shooter from the free throw line. Facts, facts, facts. And he's a career 25 point per game scorer. And you talked about Pete Maravich being up there and what he would have been if there were a three point shot. They would have but we see what Steph game. Curry is. That's facts. That nigga was a bucket. Okay, excuse me. With a three point shot. Okay? So that's number one. We just going to leave. LeBron, who's a career 27 mm. point per game score out of this. We're gonna mm. leave LeBron up there. We're gonna leave him. That's what we're gonna do, doggy. That's what we're gonna do. He and does too we, much. Last but not least. Yo, you're making it sorry. I got Hey, how tall is he? Does he just look short as fuck? I gotta look this up. I'm sorry. Chris. Sorry. Chris Paul. How tall is he? He 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 he's the oh. Hey, I ain't gonna cap. I thought this said he was born in 84. I was like, bro, no, he was not. <laughs> He's not younger than my family. He's six feet, even? We're sure. Hey, hold on. Never mind. Yes, he is. He's Matter of fact, he's really 6'1 because we were born a couple days apart. He's really 6'1 if we're being honest. Only a 6'5. Number one is not debatable. Number one is not debatable. Two, three, and four are legitimate. I'm just simply asking a question. Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. Mr. Pete was a bucket. The oh. Second, oh. The end of his career, Mr. Pete was, was a bucket. Oh. We have ever seen in the history of basketball. I'm talking about the eye test. I'm not talking about numbers. What he could do, he's a career 27 point per game scorer, like LeBron. 
He is a marksman extraordinaire. He is 6'11 with a 7'6 wingspan. He's got a mid-range game. He's Facts. got a three-point game. Facts. He's got an open court game. He's Facts. got a handle. He can hit free throws. What else? What can't Kevin Durant do? Win the title by himself. Defensively. How do you sit up there and put a <laughs> above him? I would tell you as a scorer, I'd actually put, I'd actually, as a scorer, I'd actually put him ahead of Kobe. Whoa, that's crazy. Steven. Steven, we're not going to blow past still. You didn't just say something crazy? Oh, my gosh. Steven, yes, brother. In, oh, my God. That's crazy. Okay. Wow. That was that was a spicy one.